In this video, I'll demonstrate how one can use the Select by Location function in GIS to select features in one layer based on their location relative to another layer. Here I have a map of census tracts in the state of Colorado. But let's say that I want to create a data set of only those tracts that are in and around the Denver Aurora urban area. Here's a quick way one can go about selecting out just those tracts. First, I'll bring in the urban area shapefile. And it's often quite useful to label the features at this point. So I'm going to right click on urban and label features. And now I can zoom in on the Denver Aurora urban area. Next, I'll select the Select Features pointer located here and use it to highlight or select the Denver Aurora urban area. Simply click on it and it's highlighted. Now you may notice that not only was that area highlighted, but a tract was also highlighted as well. That's because the Select Features pointer drills down through all active layers. It's of no concern here since we'll be selecting that tract anyway. Now we'll go to the selection menu and select by location. In the menu that pops up, we're asked to select features from which target layer. Here you want to select the layer from which you want to draw your final data. In this case, I'm interested in a data set based on census tracts, so I'll select tracts in this case. Further down, we see a window called source layer. This is the layer you're using as a reference. It's the layer, or more specifically, the selected feature or features in that layer that you are using as a basis for having GIS select tracks for you. Here I'll choose Urban, since I'm using the selected Denver Aurora Urban Area as a basis for selecting my tracks. Now importantly, I want to make sure that I select the Use Selected Features box right here. Otherwise, GIS will select tracks that overlap or are contained in all of the urban areas in the country, not just the one I've selected. Finally, you have to choose the method of selection. If you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see all the different options. The two most frequently used options are Intersect With and have their Centroid in, which is the last option. Now, the Centroid option is great in some cases. For example, if you just want census tracts within a particular county or a set of counties, or if you wanted to make it easy for others to replicate your process. On the other hand, the intersection option, which selects tracks that are within or even just touching the border of the selected feature, can be useful. It allows you to shape your final selection a bit. I'll demonstrate that option here. Go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that it has gone and selected or highlighted all of the tracks, not only within my selected urban area, but even tracks that simply bordered that particular urban area. And now what one can do Again, using the Select Features pointer and holding down the Shift key, one can deselect tracks that ultimately one decides you don't want in the final data set. So here I'm done refining my selected census tracks. What I do is I want to pull those out of the corresponding data, which is my tracks data. Let me show you the attribute table here, and you can see these tracks that are highlighted are represented in the highlighted rows of data. And what I'm going to do is simply extract those highlighted rows of data. To do that, I'll go to Tracks, right-click, Data, and export that data. And here you always want to make sure that it's going to the folder you want it to go to, otherwise browse for your folder. And go ahead and name it something intuitive. I'm going to call this Den Tracks, and hit OK. And it'll ask if you want to add it to the map. Go ahead and hit Yes. Now I'm going to deselect my other two layers, and there you can see the final output. 